Hey, what's up, my YouTube friends? Look what Santa has brought me. These are Smith & Wesson M&P OTF knives. All right, here is a flyby for you. Those levers are the safeties. An OTF is an out-the-front knife. Now, these are actually assisted opening. However, pretty much all authorities are going to just consider these to be automatics because the difference is just a small mechanical thing that they're not going to care about. So basically treat them as autos. The blade length on these is 3.6 inches. The steel is OS 8. Now these are a Blade Ops exclusive. They were $55 on sale and they are the Star Wars theme. They have the Imperial Stormtrooper color scheme. I bought these mainly as collectibles. They just have a a coolness factor. Many have commented that these are just, you know, the most uh, sharp and pointy fidget toy that you can get. Now these clips are from when I first got them. They were a little dry as you'll you'll see. Not sure if you can tell by the noise, but they definitely can use some oil out of the box. Right, so when you first get them, they might be dry or the, the spear point one actually was having trouble deploying at first, but I was able to tweak them, all right? So after that, I uh, found some of my knife oil, and I just put small amounts of oil at key points, and that improved the deployment a whole lot more. Like, they started coming out, like, basically like lightning, like you'd think they should. So here's one. Yeah, a lot more decisive after just a dab of oil. All right, I want you to hear what these sound like. So you see that microphone there? That's a shotgun mic. That's a very sensitive microphone. I usually don't use that outside because wind noise will be huge on that thing. But we're going to slap that onto my camera inside because I want you to hear more realistically what it would sound like if you had these in hand. So here is that. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, to me, I think that's what uh, Wolverine's claws might sound like. And you also got to hear some of the ice rain in the background if you listen closely. All right, next up were these sharp. Initial sharpness with the old paper test. Here we go. So these came surprisingly sharp, especially considering just like how narrow the blades are. They did a really good job with that, um, with that OS 8. All right, final thoughts on these. Well, you know, coolness factor, 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm not, I didn't buy these for any sort of uh, practical purpose, really. You know, most knives I buy are practical. I either get bushcraft knives or perhaps some martial blades. You know, OTFs can be uh, can be very temperamental, so I wouldn't really recommend these for uh, self-defense or anything like that, despite, you know, them starring in some movies because they're very photogenic, but um, not the most reliable type of uh, deployment for sure. But hey, don't be afraid to like something every once in a while for coolness factor, you know. These were uh, a Christmas present to myself. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I will put some uh, links to Smith & Wesson products below the video for your convenience. This has been We All Juggle Knives. Consider subscribing. I'm out.